So I'm just going to start up Eclipse to do some Java programming. I'm going to just launch it. It can take some time. Okay, I'm going to come to my Hello World application. Let's make that bigger. So it guides you through getting it to do what you need it to do. The first few things, yeah, it's not that important. They're already set up to be default on Java perspective. So all that means is just the way the Java it presents on the screen. That's it. So sometimes you get something strange happening here. So I'll just go through this. So let's go call it call it the project Hello World. Okay. At the moment, I'm not going to worry about the creating the mo the module and all that stuff. It's not important. We're not dealing with it today, so let's leave it. Okay. So the next thing that we do is we need to create the class. We can do that in a few ways, but let's. Go, oops, excuse me, new class. Hopefully, it should say hello world source there. Fantastic. Um, give it a name, hello. And then we want to click on this. This is going to just set up our standard arrangement for a class. Okay. So we've done that. So we're going to try a few print statements. Then we'll start with the simplest, simpler stuff. Print. So we're going to do a print line, which is just like a normal print. On most languages, sorry, print, print line. Hello world. All statements end in a semicolon. So we're going to go run. Run as a Java application. Why is it? That's interesting. No, oh, no, there it is. This, it does this because we haven't saved it. Yeah, okay, let's save it and then run it. And what we should see is that I can't spell and hello world there. Okay, so we can play with that a little bit more. We can put a, a new line in. That's all that character does. Run as Java application. There is shortcuts for doing this. I'll let you play around. Investigate those. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so if we change it from print new line, or print line should say, not new line, what we could do is we can go for it's a more general thing, printf. We could try shoving in placeholders, so we're going to put a string in there and then go, okay, what's, what am I going to put in there? So let's say, hello computing. 
Okay. So if I've got it right, I don't always get it right. It should put hello, replace whatever's in there with that. Right. While I did that time, I just went to the run here. And we can mix these things up a little bit. Yeah, if we want to put another of our strings in there, yeah, we can do something like, all right. How are you? And I will correct. Well, we've done it. Any typos? I hope there's not. If there is, there is. We just fix them. Okay, don't worry. So, hello computing, how are you? So obviously, not obviously, but you know, I'm sure you can see that if we change that, we change that, or swap those two around, we get the, the order that they appear in these placeholder things. If we, uh, leads to what happens, so that one becomes computing, that one becomes how how are you? Swap those around, we get, so hello, how are you is there. So hello, how are you? Then it'll do a new line, world, new line, computing, which doesn't make as much sense. All right, I hope that was useful.